Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Volcano Block. And I'm just taking care of some legal stuff right now, because I want to try to get this chapter finished up today. we got to start getting into uh, Instabilis Seeds, whatever they're for. Uh, I should have enough. I've been doing this for a minute or so. I collected a whole bunch of wheat, too. Got a stack of grass and, uh, and whatnot, and... Built myself a little pier over there too for fishing just for the sake of it. I also got this little guy too, which is apparently a, a flaming swordfish. And if you use it, you can actually dump it in water and eat it. So, yeah, that's always cool. Some of the got a lot of new, ma new mods. Uh, I did get some sugar cane going because we're going to need some sugar today plus some bone meal and the whole nine yards. But what we're going to do is first we're going to start getting into sticky goo. Uh, sticky goo. We're just making glue. Glue is sugar and bone meal in water. And that's basically it. Now, I want to try something, too, because uh, I tried that when I was uh, uh, getting this stuff, the pink opposite wet, as it took up the whole source block. So I actually want to try doing, like, a two-by-two. Two. And you know what? Let's uh, grab a bucket of water. Like that. And uh, we'll just put that there so we can get some an obsidian floor placed down, just like so. And put this here. Now I'm hoping that if I drop a stack of stuff that uses water, that the infinite source will fill it up. And that's what I'm hoping for too. Uh, another one too is uh, if the if the developer just happens or the author happens to watch this. Uh, let me catch a fish here. I've no, I, like I said, I was doing a little bit of fishing. I noticed that the sound of catching a fish and pulling it out and all that stuff, the splashing, is the water sound. See, that's water sound. Maybe he can uh, replace with that glurping sound that you get with the, the lava bucket. What did I get? Oh, good, more bone meal. Just what I needed. Okay, so we got to make some sticky, glue, sticky goo, some glue, so... Uh, I do have more than enough. Let's make uh, let's make half a stack. I don't know how much we'll need. I'm sure we'll need more down the road. And then my my fishies, my bone meal. It's the only thing they're really good for. And oh yeah, sugar like so, bone meal and sugar. Do not go in there. No, they uh, they go right here. So let's see if this actually works. Do that and that. It does. Perfect. Don't have to do anything. That was something I was thinking about. Yes, it just basically got to wait up, wait for the uh, the tick updates. But there we go. Now we have we have glue. Now we got to make some paper and. Uh, Leave that there, over here to the crafting table. And we got paper with legal stuff. And I remember I need the glue for something else too. Uh, one thing I noticed too is this whole twerking thing does actually work on the sugar cane. I was surprised about that. But anyways, so let's go here. Let's uh, finish that up. We get three glass, grass blocks out of it. Now for instabilis seeds. And yes, I have made the heavy shears. Uh, someone had commented, I think, about using the making the heavy shears with the heavy ingots, which I did, and using it to uh, bone meal grass, cut the grass, and turn the grass into sticks. I have actually been doing that. Uh, that's actually a good tip. But anyways, so now we got to go here, and this is why I was doing legal paperwork. So we need four legal stuff and four eula books. Four eula books is a book with four, four legal stuff around. A book is glue and paper. So I am going to need a little bit more sugar cane here. Get one final grow here. And there we go. Like so. Uh, one thing I did actually to do too is I was looking at the recipes and there's actually a stone hopper recipe, which I thought was a, an interesting addition. Right? Stone on a stone chest and you get yourself a stone hopper. I have not used it. I, I hate it when it does that. Uh, sometimes that JEI. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, I really haven't really haven't had a use for it at the moment. Sure, I could be using it to catch a cobblestone over there, but hey, it's whatever. It's cobblestone, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's do that. Okay, I'll put that away. And now we got to make four books. And then one, two, three, four. Do that. I take that out. And then four books with some legal stuff around it. And there we go. Oh, they don't stack. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, and then uh, the rest before the instabilis, I believe, was four legal stuff, four books, and Artesia. Yes, that is it. Now, do I have any Artesias? Uh, no. I will in a second, though. As soon as my mouse cooperates. All right, Normie. All right, let's see if we can actually... Let's do this differently. Let's see if we can throw this on here. All right, you're not going to take it? There you go. All right, one, two, three, four. And... Gotta like it. That is pretty cool. So now this was saying it can grow on its own. I can't, or it can be bone mealed. Uh, we'll see if it can be uh, uh, twerked. But I think it said something about harvesting with the shears. Uh, I think that's in uh, the next step. Debt cord. Harvest the instabilis plant with your shears to acquire debt cord. Uh, I do have my shears. What do you know? I came prepared. It's almost like I just knew what I was doing. And you know, if I keep saying that, I'm going to have to prove myself, right? Okay, is this going to work? No, it is not. Interesting. Okay, and... Okay, let's... Uh, See if we can actually harvest this harvestist. No, we can't. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It does grow on its own, so let's just go ahead and plant some. I might have to get some more torches in here, but I'm pretty sure the lighting should be okay for growing stuff. All right, so that is dead cord, more bone meal. Yay! I haven't cut myself in hours. And we get into Mysterious Mixture, which, oh, I haven't made yet. All right, so we need Stone Dust, Debt Cord, Mysterious Dust, and Mysterious Fertilizer. Ooh, this will be fun. Okay. Well, guess what? I do have Mysterious Dust. Uh, stone Dust, on the other hand, I do not. be funny if that broke the glass. I know I shouldn't say that because it actually wouldn't be funny, but it would be. All right, so let's go ahead and break some rocks. Thank you. Grab that. We'll grab uh, that stuff here. Okay, so I need to make, I think it was a new... Hang on, I'll get it. There we go. Okay, so there's, there's, there's that. Uh, what was I actually doing? I was making... Mysterious Mixture. Okay, let's uh, go uses on this. It'll be easier. Oh, what do you know? There's only one use for it. And there we go. So now we have that complete. Crystal block was this. Hmm. No idea what it is, but apparently we cook it. So let's cook it. Yeah, I know I'm wasting the charcoal on that, but I don't care. I haven't harvested harvested enormous yet, so I'm sure I've got plenty of stuff to cook. Alright. There is the crystal block. What does it do? Yes, that's what I want to know. All right, now on to the magmatic air, arrow heater. You're surrounded by lava. We might as well harness its power, right? 
Okay, and then this just comes from uncrafting that. Okay. So what do I need here? I need four composite bricks, two stone slabs, two magma creams. Okay, well, it just so happens I have three more of these. Go ahead and dump those in there. Okay, like so. We grab the other one here. And I think... Don't we cook these? Oh, we gotta set them on fire. Gotta do them a little differently. Do I not have flint? Yeah. Let's find out. How do I get flint? Gravel. Okay, how do I get gravel? Yeah, I'm not even there yet. Uh, let me figure this one out. Okay, I'm going to take a chance on this. And it's showing me the same recipe for making potatoes. And it looks like that's going to be it. I'd like to see someone automate that. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there's a way. Alright, so we have that. So let's go ahead and make this... Uh, uh, where is it here? The arrow of something or other... Whatchamacallit? Magmatic arrow heater, yes. Alright, so i got to cook up some stone. I actually have stone. What do you know? No slabs, though. Okay, there's that, and, uh, oh yeah, we gotta make the, make the crystals, and what else am I missing? Magma cream. Good thing I don't have to go to the nether for them, because I'm in my own personal nether here. Uh, yeah, I still gotta, should, should look for some sunblock eventually. Okay, so there is... Makes constant hot air when above lava. Hooray! Chapter complete. Alright, so this actually makes constant hot air. So, what is that for? We're going to find out. We get some books and uncheap and unlocked. Off to chapter 2. Alright, welcome to chapter 2. Electric, electric Boogaloo. Food book. Spice of Life Carrot Edition. Okay, so what we have here, and let's see what this book is all about here. Uh, it's all about Prodigy tech, tech. Okay. Interesting. Ah, this is our first power sword. You're basically using pneumatic power, or heat power, basically, with rotor grinder, sawmill. Interesting. Ore doubling right away. Too bad we don't have any ores. And sawmill. Too bad we don't have any trees to cut down. Incinerator. Turn stuff into ash for something or other. And a hot air furnace. Alright, cool. So we actually have that. And then this is materials. Visual stuff. Okay. Alright, that being said, let's uh, do a cut here and figure out what I'm doing next. Well, judging by the looks of it, I'm going to have to start making a whole bunch more of these pink composite bricks and these these crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will bring you back when I'm all done. Okay, I am just finishing up here. Uh, someone had mentioned, too, about uh, me not getting enough cobble. Well, you're talking to the master AFK here, so that's not a problem. I've already got eight stacks of cobble, so I've got plenty to go around so I can get glass and sand and all that stuff. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Gotta go cook these ingots now. I went ahead and made uh, some blocks. Uh, I punched a small little area over there, a little bigger patch for the mysterious to grass to grow, and we'll see how that works. And there we go. Fastest furnace in the world. Okay, so what are we doing here? We are building the rotary grinder are we not yes we are all right rotary grinder okay so uh we'll just go uses on this this will be easier uses rotary grinder so i need three of these crystal grinding wheels 
which is three of these. Uh, hold on. That's easier. Okay. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and make three of them. I do. We'll need more of them down the road, but we'll make three of them for now. And oh, they do not stack. That sucks. All right. Let's see if I can remember this. So it's three, one, there, there, and then these three in the middle. Rotary grinder crushes things. Cool. All right, let's try this baby out. Uh, hmm. Now it says to put it directly uh, when above lava. So I'm assuming just up here, or should, do I place it in the lava? Now the question is, where do I want to start building? Where do I want to set up? Well, I've got the crafting area over here. Maybe I'll come off of this way. So let me get a pass set up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna start here and uh, can always expand more down the road if I need to. So, how do these things actually work? Is there a pipe that needs to connect to it or what? I'm not 100% sure how these things work. Okay, it is heating up. I'm actually wondering if there's pipes or something here. Uh, nope. Uh, uh, nothing there. Circuits, yada yada yada. Hmm. Well, let's look at that. Probably do them. You'd think there'd be like some sort of pipe or something. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's uh, check in here. Uh, doesn't say much. Sugar cubes. Cool. Rock core. Uh, compressed clay. Okay. Uh, I want to figure this out first. So I'm just going to assume we just do that. Uh, it definitely works. All right. Let's give it a shot. And gravel. Hey, all right. All right, now if I put that back in, that gives me sand? Or does it give me flint? I can check recipes, but it's always funner to find out the easy way. And okay, get sand. Can I put it back in? No, I can't. Okay. Let's see what actual recipes we have. Sawdust, yes, we can get bricks out of it, cobble, uh, sand, okay, so it's basically just a simple grinder, okay, it's flour, cool, ground meat, nice, a whole bunch of fun stuff, oh god, no, it's pretty bad when we're getting at it, diamond dust and stuff like that. Oh! Oh, that's actually interesting. Now it'll come in handy then. So I can double my bone meal. Awesome! So that is that is the grinder. So next we're going to be getting into uh, seeds. Seed of life trees. Yes. This is what we're doing here. Okay. Seed of life requires grass blocks, crystal blocks, and a shard of living world and shard of the root of life. So what is this? Uh, crushing recipes. Oh, nether crystal or... Okay, I can do the crystal. What's this one here? Oh, a shard of the living world. So is it just like random it happens? Let's find out. I do have a couple of crystals on me. Go ahead and drop the drop a big heavy weight on them and see what happens. Okay. 
Oh, okay. We got a couple different ones, I guess. Alright. I'll drop eight on there. Let's see what we get out of it. A whole bunch of stuff. Cool. Almost reminds me of uh, Thorncraft with all the crystals you get out of it. Alright, let's get some uh, inventory space, see what others I need to pick up here. Okay, nothing. And I do have what I need. Perfect. Okay, what were we cook making again? We were making... Oh yeah, Seed of Life. Two grass blocks, okay. Uh, take two of those. And do that, that. One of those, and... Obviously the other way around. Seed of life. Radius three. So I need to get another grassy area set up. Definitely. So let me do that. I'm gonna go spend a few few minutes in the field, gather, gather up a whole bunch of wheat, and then we'll get a nice big area planted. Okay, I'm ready to go. I got uh, got some dirt on me or some grass. I have uh, some cobble and I have some glass because I want to do something a little different here. So I'm going to come go out this way a little bit here. Probably probably about here. And then I'm going to I'm going to do this here. Sure. Do it this way. Why not? So what I want to do is I basically want to create a park with a lake in it. And I forgot to grab water. And this lake is going to be a glass bottom lake so you can see the lava through the bottom. You know, just something fun, right? Go ahead and grab that. I don't know what it is with me and uh, having glass in dangerous situations. In the same way with uh, sky blocks too. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that is so I got something to place glass on. So I'm going to go ahead and place one block there, not two. Take this out. Uh, I know it's a bit of a waste for grass block, but hey, I can always make more. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is I want to do that. And that is going to be the bottom of the pond. So there's going to be water inside here. But on the outside, there's going to be basically grass park going around and hmm I might have to get in there and try to break that obsidian just to make it look a little better but you get the idea so let me uh, get a bit of a park and pond setups going here and I'll bring you back when I got something okay I got a little area here I probably could have made it a little bit bigger but I need this to say grass is not easy to come by these days. So now all that's left to do is to fill this up. So I'll put a bucket here. And put a bucket here. And that should give me my infinite source. Now it's just a matter of going around, filling in the corners. And then hopefully, within a... Oh, that was the wrong one. Let's not take that one. Let's take uh, this one. And then hopefully... Should be able to get this to fill in pretty quick here. I have no idea. I can't, don't, can't remember what version we're, not, we're in. I think we're in 1.12. Uh, so I don't really know how the water mechanics are going to work. I know they have changed. And this may fill up awfully quick. Or I may have to do every single one. But uh, yeah, this might take me a little longer than I thought. So I'll be right back. There. I got it. I just had to place a couple sources in the middle there and it finally filled itself in. And yes, before anybody says something, I know I built it one block off, but whatever. I'm in a volcano, the heat's getting to me, what can I say? Alright, so all it's up to do is go get that seed of life. And I think, just to be prepared for it, let's go ahead and get ourselves an axe. Yes. Oh, I need the seed of life. Where are you? There you are. 
And you know, this is actually the, the second time I've used this Seed of Life. Not in this mod pack, but another one. I think it was... I think I used it in Project Ozone 3. And the reason why I have it like that is so at least we get some lighting. I do have torches. Uh, ooh. Good thing I checked. I have absolutely no idea what the, the mob spawning is like in this pack. And I really don't want to find out the hard way. Okay. That is that. And I gotta make sure I don't walk off the edge. Let's go ahead and plant it right there. Oh yeah. That's what we gotta do. And there we go. So now we have a sapling. Does this work on you? It does. Ooh. Alright. Give me a sapling. There's a sapling. Alright. I know I shouldn't be using an axe for this, but whatever. I got so much cobble and I've got wood now and I can bone meal all the grass I need. Come on, give me some saplings. Oh yeah, we have vein miner, don't we? Yes we do. Dry or acorn, okay, and two saplings. And there is our first log. Haha. -ha. Perfect. What is that? Oh, fertile soil. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and place plant that. We'll plant another one over here. And we just wait. We just wait. I gotta eat something here. Uh, I already had one of these. I might as well might as well eat the other one. I'm gonna have to eat it anyways. Wow, that, that did grow fast. Alright. More saplings, please. Five. I got more with a bucket than I did an axe. Go figure. Okay, so now we have that. Awesome. Let's uh, go ahead and grab this brass while we can. Get some free sticks out of the deal. I think these here actually get used for something, don't they? Yeah, that. Bush tree powder, whatever that is. So there we go. We have finally got ourselves a little bit of a little bit of nature down here. And we have some wood, and we have some stick supply, and get ourselves a nice little pond. And you know what? Just for the sake of it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and make the sawmill. Because I wanted to make some planks, but I don't have enough planks for it. Or I can't actually make planks until we make the heated sawmill. So I went ahead and uh, ground down some cobble into some gravel, and I dropped the, the weight on it to get flint. And we have to do this to get three of these, which do stack. Do not stack. That's fine. So we go to that, 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 and then three cutters. If my mouse would cooperate with me. Yeah, you never, like I said before, you never really, really realize how much you use your mouse until it wears out on you. You think about how many times it clicks. Now, I'm wondering if this actually has to be on top of it will actually grab heat from the side. It will not. Oh, thank God for carry-on. Haha. -ha. Yes, it's dark here. I put a torch down, just in case. But that doesn't seem to be that big of an issue. This is good, because I was actually going to make a second one of those generators. Okay, so we have a sawmill. Go ahead and we'll cut one of those logs down. And uh, I'm sure if you're paying attention, you can already see what I'm going to do here. Oh, we get some sawdust out of that too. Cool. Alright, run back over to the crafting table. And yes, we are going to make a boat. And I did even make a fishing rod too. Like a, a proper fishing rod. Because that's how we're going to end the episode. We're going to go sit in the lake and do some fishing in our world of lava. And we'll go right out in the middle, grab my uh, non-fire and fishing rod, or non-fire fishing rod, and there we go. And with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If it did, leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Hey, I caught a fish.